Though energy is the group's priority, Dr. George and trauma nurse Allison are keeping an eye on another major concern, the food supply. You want to count right next to what we had, and I'll just put in the new number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. With 10 people, we're going through a lot of our um, canned goods. One, two, three, three. We're going to need more oil. We're going to need more sugar. We're going to need more fresh foods, whether we hunt it or whether we you know, forge it from abandoned homes or grocery stores. We're going to need more food. That, that's, that's, that's a concern. Food isn't the only reason to go foraging because it's extremely important to be aware of your surroundings. What resources and what dangers might be lurking just behind you? So guys, there's a number of things we need. Um, we need to go foraging. I mean, honestly, we can't, we can't build food. We can't build water. I don't feel comfortable, I don't think any of us do that. All of us leave, because then this place is vulnerable. I think you guys are working on something incredibly important. Right. It might be best if you stay. So. You're staying, Mike. Lock up behind us. Lock up all the doors. We stay in groups of at least two to three at a time, and we never get too far away from each other. In a post-apocalyptic event, looting is foraging. There are, there are no owners of property anymore. In the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, for example, people reverted to a pack-like mentality over food and water. We see that happen often during major catastrophes where people were forced on their own to survive. You know, we're, we're not foolish with all the dangerous people and the conditions we have to encounter when we leave these, these guarded walls. I, I did six years in a pretty serious prison, you know? It's a part of me. I know I'm a survivor. So if, if you're attacked and you try to protect your stuff, and if you can't protect your stuff, you protect each other. John. But if somebody separates, then John, I think... have you ever been in a fight? Yes. Have you ever been in a de life and death fight? No. I have. I was a member of the military, and I've seen a lot of people die, and I've seen a lot of people dead. So, uh, that's where I'm coming from. I'll let you know what happens when we go out after we assess things. This is no longer the world of sharing and good natureness. The only way to control a wild animal is being wilder than the wild animal. Let's put it this way, I do not plan to run. We are going to be the wildest animal there is.